So we are on the corner of Farrell and Baristo and we saw the World War II hard stand exhibit. So we had to come check this out. What is this thing? Welcome to the World War II hard stand and inter interpretive center. In 1939, Palm Circus was planning for a new airport in response to the boom in tourism. The city had just started construction on its new airport when World War II broke out and the Army took over the construction. The Palm Springs Army Airfield was completed by early 1942. Palm Springs played a unique role during World War II. It became a dis dis distribution hub, part of a series of landing facilities around the country used for moving or ferrying military aircraft and supplies from factories along the California coast to the East Coast in Europe where they were needed for the war effort. The ferrying compound composed of seven continental units was formed in 1941. The 21st ferrying group at Palm Springs was the hub in this network of aircraft dispersal. Following the attack on Pearl Harbor on December 7th, 1941 and the entry of the United States into World War II, the entire west coast of the United States found itself on high alert to potential Japanese attack. There are at least five documented cases in 1942 of shelling at installations along the California and Oregon coastline by Japanese submarines. After the massive losses at Pearl Harbor in which battleships were harbored close to one another, the military designed the facility here so that the parked aircraft were dispersed along the open desert adjacent to the newly completed runway, making it more difficult for a single enemy airstrike to inflict catastrophic losses. Roughly 50 concrete hard stands were scattered over the area, were scattered over an area roughly bounded by Vista Chino on the north, Farrell Drive on the west, Ramon Road on the south, and the airstrip on the east. Each hard stand consisted of a concrete circle roughly 75 feet in diameter. Four heavy steel loops were cast into the concrete circles that were used to tie down the parked aircraft during periods of gusty winds. The hard stands were connected to the runway via a network of 50 foot wide asphalt taxiways. With encroaching urban development, most of the hard stands from the Palm Springs Army Air Base have been demolished. At least one remains and was integrated into the 1960s into a nearby public street named East Moore Circle. In 2000, it was designated a Class I historic site by the Palm Springs City Council. This interpretive center was created in, in 2018 as part of the adjacent residential development to tell the history of the hard stands that were on this site and the unique role that Palm Springs played in staging and protecting military aircraft as they were ferried from factory to front line during World War II. So these are what they look like, sort of like ant landing strips, I'm assuming for aircraft. And there's some more. We're gonna come back later. I'm tired of reading, but we're gonna, we're gonna come show you this part here. And then we'll come show you the Palm Springs Army Airfield. Look at this thing. This is pretty awesome. That was the uh, airfield, I guess, when the military planes came in. Check this out. This is super cool. What unit is that? Not sure, but we'll find out. El Mirador Hotel becomes Attorney General Hospital. So we'll be back. We're gonna each day. We're gonna come give you a little, uh, a little. Uh, history of Palm Springs. Jacqueline Cochran, that's the airport. So we did the first one. We're back tomorrow to do the next one at the World War II hard stand exhibit.